Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Hayden Thousand from Thousand Fantasy and today we're going to be looking at a very quick tip on using transparency in the new EV engine in Blender 2.8. Firstly I'm going to demonstrate as to why this might be important for you. So I'm going to delete the cube and then I'm going to add an image by going to image and then image as planes and this is an add-on that you can enable via the preferences in the edit menu. So I'm just going to select an image that has an alpha and I'm going to show to you why alpha in EV Engine is, works a bit differently. The image that I'm going to select is from an upcoming tutorial on camera mapping in the 2.8 Blender build. If I press Alt Z to look at this in a look dev view, we'll see that there's this black material where the alpha should be. It doesn't look very good and it's not what we should have. Even if I go into the rendered viewport by pressing Shift Z, we will see that the black material is still present where the alpha should be. Now I'll go into the shading tab and show you what the shader looks like. Now, for those of you who are comfortable in cycles, you'll realize straight away that what this node setup should be doing is making sure that our image is displaying the transparency correctly according to the alpha of the image. Now, if I change this from the EV to the cycles render engine, we'll see that it provides a much more predictable result. The alpha is clearly clipped and not visible. So this shader for all intents and purposes works because the shader nodes for Cycles and EV are cross compatible so they work for both but in the EV engine as we can see it's not working. So to make it work we have to go to our, our material tab and then we're going to go down to options and in options there should be an option called blend mode and by default it is set to opaque. We want to change this from opaque to either alpha clip, alpha hash, or alpha blended. Alpha clip should provide a um, more predictable result and we should see that our alpha is now um, disposed of. Alpha hash does the same thing, however upon the edges of where the alpha meets the actual color data, it creates a dithering effect. So this is uh, quite a good option. Alpha blend is similar, except of dithering, it blends the values from opaque to not opaque. And there we have it. We have successfully enabled transparency in the Blender EV engine. I hope that this tutorial has helped you because when I first opened Blender 2.8, I was a bit confused as to how to get um, transparent pictures and transparent textures in and working in the EV engine. I know that this is a very quick tutorial, but don't worry, I've got much larger tutorials in the works right now, including one on camera mapping in 2.8, as well as a continuation on my camera tracking tutorial. If this tutorial has helped you, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hayden Falson from FalsonFantasy.com signing off.